What if I told you that right now, at this very moment, Africa is unleashing a transportation revolution the world has never seen before? 500 buses, no fuel, no charging stations, and zero emissions. Not in 2050. Not in the future. It's happening today. And the name behind it? Maxwell. The Zimbabwean tech maverick is back. And this time, he's aiming straight at the heart of global transportation. Visual. Buses rolling out of a clean energy facility. In a world where energy prices are soaring and climate deadlines loom over every nation, Zimbabwe's Maxwell Chikambutso is doing what others only dream about. These 500 brand new buses aren't just electric, they're fully independent. No plug-ins. No charging stops. No reliance on fossil fuels or national power grids. So how are they running? Maxwell's breakthrough technology is built on a closed-loop regenerative system, a self-sustaining energy core that powers the vehicle from within. Think about that for a second. A bus that generates its own electricity as it moves. It sounds like science fiction, but this is real, engineered, and already hitting roads in Zimbabwe, Zambia, and even parts of South Africa. We designed these buses to operate independently for years. No downtime, no carbon footprint. The energy system recharges itself based on mechanical motion, vibration harvesting, and advanced electromagnetic recovery. Buses on African highways, people boarding, urban centers glowing. Passengers are already experiencing it. In Harare, residents board buses that feel like stepping into the future, whisper quiet, sleek, and 100% free from traditional energy sources. No diesel fumes. No engine roar. Just smooth, silent progress. Global reaction montage. Tesla, BYD, European manufacturers. Meanwhile, in Silicon Valley and Stuttgart, boardrooms are lighting up with alarm. Because this isn't just an innovation. It's a market disruption. Tesla might have autopilot. BYD might have scale. But Maxwell has something no one else does. A transportation ecosystem that doesn't need the grid. This is beyond EVs. It's the dawn of energy freedom on four wheels. Graphs showing cost savings, environmental impact, scalability. Analysts are starting to take notice. According to early reports, these buses could reduce urban transit costs by up to 70%. And because they're autonomous in energy, they're immune to blackouts, oil shocks, and fuel price wars. That makes them not just sustainable, but strategic. Vox Pop slash testimonials. Urban bus stop in Harare. It's quiet, clean, and always on time. I used to spend hours waiting for broken-down diesel buses. This, this feels like the future arrived early. No more fuel hikes. No more blackouts. This is a solution for Africa, by Africa. People across cities are no longer just riding a bus. They're riding a revolution. One that promises to free millions from unreliable transit systems and oppressive fuel costs. And it's not stopping in Zimbabwe. Maxwell's team has confirmed partnerships in Zambia, Botswana, and Ghana, with plans to ship these fully independent buses across the continent. Africa's grid limitations? Bypassed. Fuel shortages? Irrelevant. Battery supply chains? Not needed. These buses carry the blueprint for mobility that works in the global south and beyond. Maxwell Chikambutso lab interview. Dimly lit, futuristic setting. We were told to wait for innovation to come to us. Instead, we build our own. These buses represent what happens when we stop importing dreams and start engineering reality. His words echo like a manifesto. Not just for Zimbabwe, but for every underrepresented nation waiting to rise. Maxwell isn't just building vehicles. He's building a new economic engine for Africa. Tension buildup. Elon Musk board your mock-up. News alerts. And while African cities celebrate, the rest of the world is watching closely. Rumors are swirling. Tesla executives reportedly held an emergency session after data leaked about the self-sustaining design of Maxwell's transit fleet. Is it a threat? Absolutely. Because this isn't just competition. It's leapfrogging. Where Western companies spent billions on charging networks, Maxwell bypassed the entire concept with autonomous energy regeneration. And now... Whispers of collaborations, buyout offers, and even sabotage are starting to surface. Strategic impact slash worldview. Animated maps spreading across Africa. 
What started as 500 buses could soon become 5,000, then 50,000. With each rollout, Africa gains not just clean transit, but control of its own technological future. Imagine Nigeria, Kenya, Tanzania, Egypt. Entire networks of grid-free, self-powered public transport. It's more than innovation. It's sovereignty on wheels. Global reaction, news montage slash economic shockwaves. The ripple effect was immediate. Bloomberg ran the headline, Africa's homegrown tech threatens global auto giants. CNBC followed with, The Zimbabwean bus fleet that could disrupt global markets. Stock prices of traditional bus manufacturers dipped. EV lobbyists in Washington called emergency sessions. And Silicon Valley? Whisper about the next Nokia moment. A moment where legacy players realize they're already obsolete. Old versus new. Corporate boardroom slash African startups lab visual contrast. While billion-dollar auto companies debate margins and regulations in polished boardrooms. Maxwell and his team operate from a repurposed aircraft hangar in Harare. There, innovation is not tied to stock prices. It's tied to urgency, to the need for real solutions. In that lab, they have prototyped a full-size cargo truck using the same self-powered engine platform. Next, a self-sustaining inner-city train. The pattern is clear. While the West iterates, Africa is leaping ahead. Geopolitical tensions. Oil states react. Not everyone is clapping. Oil-exporting nations are quietly raising concerns. If Africa scales these buses continent-wide, fuel demand could drop drastically. Petrodollar pipelines, once untouchable, now feel shaky. Unofficial reports suggest lobbying groups are already applying pressure on African governments to delay this rollout under the guise of safety testing and infrastructure compliance. But how do you suppress a revolution rolling on wheels? You don't. You try. And you fail. International backlash and offers. Silicon Valley tries to buy in. Tech giants are attempting a softer approach. A major American automaker reportedly offered Maxwell a nine-figure acquisition deal. An offer he declined without hesitation. His response? If I sell this, Africa sells its future. And I didn't build this for the West to own. That moment cemented Maxwell's role, not just as an inventor, but as a guardian of the African Renaissance. The expansion blueprint. What's next? So what's next for these 500 revolutionary buses? Plans are underway for AI-assisted route optimization, real-time onboard diagnostics with satellite uplinks, smart ticketing with offline payment capability, and even energy-sharing buses that can power rural microgrids as they pass through towns. These aren't just public transport vehicles. They're infrastructure on wheels. They bring light mobility and independence where no grid or foreign investment ever reached. African nations unite. Continental adoption begins. From Lusaka to Lagos, from Addis Ababa to Accra, the phones in Maxwell's office won't stop ringing. Governments, transport ministries, even rural district councils are lining up to adopt the buses. And why not? No fuel contracts. No dependency on foreign electricity grids. No emissions. Just clean, self-sustaining mobility made by Africans for Africans. A groundbreaking Pan-African Transit Agreement is in draft. If passed, it will integrate Maxwell's buses across 20-plus nations with shared maintenance hubs, inter-border licensing, and a dedicated satellite fleet to manage real-time tracking. This isn't just a vehicle fleet. It's the nervous system of a new Africa, says Ghana's Minister of Innovation, the rise of supporting industries. But something even more powerful is happening. A supply chain is being born. African entrepreneurs are opening battery casing plants using recycled aluminum, sensor factories building components locally, and vocational training centers teaching young people how to service these new machines. Maxwell didn't just launch buses. He sparked an entire industrial revolution. And while the West scrambles for lithium and rare earth metals, Africa is building mobility solutions that don't even need them. Education revolution. Universities take notice. Top universities across Africa are now rewriting their engineering syllabi. At the University of Cape Town, there's a new course. 
self-powered vehicle design, the Maxwell model. And in Nairobi, a public-private partnership is launching the Maxwell Institute of Sustainable Transport, where one student studied foreign case studies. Now they write their own. Tesla's silent pivot. Meanwhile, in Palo Alto, Tesla isn't commenting publicly, but analysts have noticed a shift. R&D budget quietly redirected to energy autonomous vehicle systems. Patents filed under Shell Corporations for kinetic loop harvesting. A canceled EV bus project now rumored to be back in stealth mode. One insider leaked a quote allegedly from Musk himself. We thought we had 20 years. Now we might have two. The world watches and waits. All eyes are now on one place. Africa. The old world doesn't know whether to laugh, fight, or invest. But the truth? It's too late for denial. Because 500 buses were just the start. The next 5,000 are already in production. And the roadmap includes freight trucks, agricultural utility vehicles, even maritime self-powered ferries for Lake Victoria. Maxwell's mission? Energy independence for the entire continent, on land, sea, and one day, air. Maxwell's legacy begins. It's been just 18 months since Maxwell Chikambutso launched his bold vision. 500 fully independent, self-powered buses. No fuel, no charging, no compromise. What began as a daring idea in Zimbabwe has now become a continent-wide blueprint for transformation. At the newly unveiled Africa Mobility Summit in Nairobi, delegates from over 40 nations gather not to negotiate oil deals, but to share open-source vehicle tech. The keynote speaker? None other than Maxwell himself. We're not here to copy the world, he says. We're here to change it. The global ship begins. A drone captures a sea of self-powered buses gliding down the streets of Addis Ababa. In Germany, protesters gather outside automaker HQs demanding sustainable alternatives. If Africa can do it, why can't we? In Tokyo, an engineering journal publishes a study titled Maxwell's Model, a disruption no one saw coming. And in Silicon Valley, a Tesla engineer stares at the screen, quietly muttering, We've got a real competitor now. This isn't the story of a bus. It's the story of a movement. Of an inventor who dared to say, what if we didn't need the grid at all? It's the story of Africa stepping forward, not as a consumer, but as a creator of the future. And while the rest of the world races to catch up, Africa is already in motion, powered by vision, driven by purpose, fueled by nothing but itself.